It's a couple days before or after, depending on when I upload this, April 1st. You know what that means? It's time for Cap's Recap Monthly Channel Update Series. A re-record, because it just wouldn't be one of these if I didn't, like, scrap the previous attempt and re-record it. Anyway, uh, link in the description down below if you wish to support the channel or become a YouTube member, join Patreon, etc. Monetary support is greatly appreciated, but not required or anticipated, etc., etc. Uh, with Patreon announcing that they're closing down the goals on everyone's pages, which doesn't make much sense. I mean, it's not like it's a live service. It's just a couple lines of HTML and maybe some JavaScript. So I don't know why they're like you know, shelving that, but it is what it is. So with those goals that I do have, I'll find some way to incorporate them into the channel in some capacity. Maybe you might make them uh, subscriber milestones like uh, what I currently have going on. Speaking of which, we're still on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Once we hit 4,000, I'll be playing the Forbidden Spyro and Crash Bandicoot games. A uh, sneak peek of that will be when I do Crash Tag Team Racing? Yep, Tag Team Racing, as was selected by a patron. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that when some stuff gets beaten. But, um, yeah, like, I'll figure out what I'll do with, like, goals and stuff and probably add a couple more perks to the old Patreon and YouTube memberships just got to figure out what it can do. Um, as far as ongoing things are concerned, yeah, um, upload schedule was a bit shoddy. Um, this week, though, I, I bounced back, you know, I, I was I was doing the thing, I was doing the thing, uh, save for, um, well, as of recording this Thursday, didn't have everything up on that day in particular, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, especially since I kind of fell by the wayside on uh, recording nights. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Uh, we'll go over that in a bit, but um, yeah. Uh, dust is not as long as I thought it was. So that should be ending like around mid uh april if that um yeah yeah probably about mid april closer to the uh three quarter mark we'll see kingdom hearts 2 will probably go throughout april though the level segments are not as long as i remembered them being though you do revisit areas but yeah like going through for example Mulan's world that was like one hour total so yeah I think that's actually advancing quicker than even Kingdom Hearts 1 did just kind of hilarious because I know Kingdom Hearts 1 inside and out whereas I am a bit on the shady or hazy side with uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 but yeah, that'll probably be going through April. Uh, likewise with uh, Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations. Though to be fair, segments of that aren't as long as I thought they would be too. Um, how I kind of like to structure Ace Attorney videos is like, the court segments are like their own self-contained thing. It just feels weird to break those up. And investigations, I divide into like equal parts. So if an investigation lasts 90 minutes, then each, then I divide that into like three 30 minute parts. If it lasts about 60 minutes, and eh, maybe I might break them up into three 20 minute parts or just two 30 minute parts. It, it depends, it depends. Uh, with the investigations in this game, however, it's like one investigation could last like 20 minutes and then you're on to questioning, which could be anywhere from like 10 to 30 minutes. So, yeah, just going to keep going with the flow with uh, 
this game then i guess as opposed to like trying to set like oh okay like this segment will be for this video and blah 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 because like I, I know video length doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things especially for let's play parts but like it just feels weird to do a 10 minute part and then like multiple 30 minutes and yeah it yeah i don't know so yeah i'll just keep going with the flow for that and it will probably more than likely wrap up by the end of the month as well so yeah i won't really have too much to say about upcoming things um though i'm still gonna hold off on the uh or continuing the anime game thing until we wrap up some of these patrons choice games um of which ace attorney investigations and uh dustin lazy and tail are you know patrons choice games but yeah i'm losing my train of thought here this was going so much better than the previous update though that's kind of sad um yeah, so we probably won't be getting into these in April, but after either Dust, well, I mean, Dust probably going to end first before um, Ace Attorney Investigations, but uh, yeah, after Dust, it'll be Crash Tag Team Racing. Woo. And then after that, we will only have Bioshock Infinite and The Wolf Among Us left. So maybe around April 15th, or the last week of April, I might do the big old post about, uh, hey, patron's choice, like, get your suggestions in, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, look forward to that coming soonish. Um, outside of that, don't really have much else to say about upcoming things. Uh, after Kingdom Hearts 2 will be whatever came in second in that uh, YouTube poll, though I might switch it up a little and do a, uh, like, whatchamacallit, Zelda game to, um, break things up a bit. I'm still trying to do the, uh, Zelda timeline thing going down the different branches and, wait, am I on, no, actually, I think I'm on Triforce Heroes next. I don't have my list handy. If it's Triforce Heroes, then I probably will just go ahead with the um, game that came in second in that poll as opposed to switching it up. I don't know. If it's like the OG Zelda or Zelda 2, then yeah, I'll probably just do the Zelda game next. If it's Triforce Heroes or Link Between Worlds, which I think it will be, then... I'll just go with the next game in the poll, which was Batman Arkham Knight, and then we'll do some Zelda stuff and then finish up the poll options, being uh, Xenoblade 1 and 3rd, which is utterly surprising to me, followed by Bayonetta 3 and 4th. Huh. That's... That's so... That... Wow, Xenoblade 1... I mean, I like Xenoblade, but I'm just surprised that, like... On a poll that had Bayonetta on it, it came in, like, it came before Bayonetta. That's, that's just surprising. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, um, well, no, actually, this will go into, like, the streaming stuff next. Which I might as well get into now. This update is off the freaking rails. Um, but yeah, as far as streaming is concerned, uh, going back to, like, sort of um, alternating between stuff I pick and then stuff the people's vote for in the Discord. I just took this week off from streaming, just, you know, just, just to get a little break. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be back at it, and I intend to do a special April 1st stream. Hopefully this video goes up before the actual stream. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to go up too far in advance, so it's not like this is going to be a lot of hype for it. Anyway, um, yeah, just going back to streaming like a random indie game or just a random game I pick, as well as like stuff the people in the Discord vote for. 
uh, I might go back and wrap up the Superstar Saga randomizer. Eh, yeah, I might as well. There's not too much left, I think. I mean, I am on the Beanstar pieces, but once I get all of those, then it's like jokes end and then the end of the game. And considering I'm kind of OP, uh, that shouldn't take too long. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Also got some review copies of stuff that I want to show off on stream as well. Uh, those games being Saga of Sins, which is a single player action adventure uh, RPG platformer, thing. so Metroidvania, and Mato Anomalies, Mato Anomalies. Single player RPG detective game. Yeah. They both look really neat. I, I really like the aesthetic of Saga of Sins. It's it's all stained glass and junk. It, it looks nice. It looks nice. But yeah, um, I will also be doing at some point Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on stream. Because I kind of forgot that like I, I wanted to do the uh, Kingdom Hearts games in order of release. And I forgot that Chain of Memories came out after Kingdom Hearts 1, and then it was Kingdom Hearts 2. So uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about Chain of Memories. Though to be fair, it's Chain of Memories. It's, it's an adequate game, but it's also not great. But yeah, I'll be doing that on stream. The, uh, not, not the Game Boy Advance version, but like the remastered version that was ported to PS2 and then ported to PS3 and then PS4. It's available on like every freaking Sony console now. But uh, yeah, Chain of Memories coming soon. In addition to other things people vote for in the Discord, you know, ranging from regular games to um, randomizers. I am really selling the channel, aren't I? <laughs> Good lord, okay. Um, that covers about that. Oh yeah, and like, there's still some unfinished business from the uh, Winter of Mist Content. This year, it, well, I mean, I say this year, it started like last freaking December, but yeah, this winter, it, it went like, I don't know, it was like 50-50. 50% -50. Um, of it was really good. I was able to beat some um, things that I just had left undone on my channel, made really great progress in other things. And, you know, in other ways, I added on more unfinished stuff, whether it was because things got a little too difficult, like with Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Uh, each part just takes a lot of time to record, as is the case with Astral Chain, or I genuinely just forgot I was even playing it, as was the case with Link's Awakening. I am very sorry about that. I genuinely forgot. <laughs> and I love that game so much, but I was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to be recording more of that. <laughs> um, so yeah, those will be going up on a, like, whenever they're done basis. Like, I'm not gonna... Uh, stress too hard about those and even with like some of the completion in general because I don't know like as was the case when I went back to exit it's just like I don't know like I'm, I'm good on trying to perfect certain things like I mean I do want to 100% like Fist of the North Star and um you know, just other games, like Zelda games and stuff, because I find those fun to do. I like showing them off. I want to show off everything they have. But then with other things like the Super Bosses and Kingdom Hearts or um, the DLC levels and Exit, with those, it's just like, yeah, I'm good. I, I think I showed off enough. And granted, with Exit, I mean, if I were to do those DLC levels, I would be, like, the only person on YouTube to have done them. There's, like, there's not even walkthroughs for them online. 
well, I don't know, there is a GameFAQ walkthrough that has like the first five DLC uh, worlds, but yeah, the rest are just, you know, there. But also by that same token, it's like, who's really looking for exit in 2023? And not to mention, I would just be throwing my head at a brick wall for like hours with some of those until I finally make a breakthrough. That's not good stream viewing. That is also kind of annoying to record. So I don't know. Like I may go back every now and then and give them the old college try, but you know, I'm just going to treat them like how I do super bosses in like Bayonetta and Kingdom Hearts, where it's like, I'll show them off, but I'm not going to force myself to really like try to complete them just for my own sanity. So yeah, summer or not summer, oh, uh, winter of miscontent. Well, not even that anymore because it's not even freaking winter. Unfinished stuff will be up when they go up. It is what it is. So, uh. Yeah, that's kind of all I got. Um, personal life, you know, still trying to save up to move out. Hopefully that will be done at some point this year. Scared as hell uh, to do it, but I gotta. I am tired of just, like... I mean, the, the oh yeah, I was going to get into this earlier, but it's like, just when it... When it comes to just recording things alone, it's like if I wait till nighttime when there's like peace, quiet and just nobody to interrupt, I got to contend with me possibly being sleepy. And then that leads to bad commentary, as you've probably seen in some recent ish videos. But if I record during the day, well, a I'm probably like at work, which yeah, no, I don't really want to do that. Like, you know, working remotely, I'm not going to, like, record stuff. Yeah. But also, it's like, if I'm not at work, then there's probably someone here or me being forced to babysit. And it's, you know, I got to deal with just annoying editing like constantly cutting audio or making cuts and putting things together and yeah so it's it's just a catch-22 <laughs> as i try to find the best possible times to record stuff but yeah but even outside of like just for youtube and for streaming just for my own mental health i need to move i'm tired of being here yeah, you know, it is what it is. You got to make that jump at some point, you know, as long as you're fully prepared. You know, all those fears will be assuaged. Did I say that correctly? I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. No events coming up. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, and like no tournaments, no events, local or otherwise. So, uh, yeah, I got nothing. Um, oh, yeah, the other channel. I'll see what I can do about uploading stuff on there. I also need to catch up on the VOD channel. Though, I'm just kind of second-guessing that. Since, I don't know, I don't know. I already talked about, like, my just thoughts on the pros and cons of the VOD channel before. No point in repeating them here, but still, even just for the sake of neatness, I'm just, I don't know. But I do need to have somewhere where I can upload like my old, old Twitch stuff that's no longer on Twitch. So yeah, that, that would probably put the main channel at risk. I love Midnight Club, but oh boy, that licensed soundtrack. Woo. All right, but yeah, I am uber rambling now. So, uh, Dust, Mouse, Edgeworth, Face Attorney Investigations, and Kingdom Hearts 2 will be continuing on. Look forward to Crash Tag Team Racing and maybe Bioshock Infinite in the month of April. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories and other various games will be streamed during April. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for just 
sticking around, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. That was a 20-minute update. Oh, fuck. I'm running things.